Welcome to the VMLogix Lab Manager demo video. VMLogix Lab Manager is an award-winning virtual lab solution that integrates with the world's leading virtualization platforms such as VMware vSphere, Citrix Zen Server, and Microsoft Hyper-V. VMLogix Lab Manager empowers development and test, sales, training, and support team to quickly build, deploy, and share production-like environments through a customizable, user-friendly web interface. VMLogix Lab Manager is designed to provide users with a simple and easy method for provisioning environments on demand without any involvement from the IT department. The core area of VMLogix Lab Manager is the configuration screen. Configuration is basically an environment. It includes a combination of virtual machine templates, network settings and policies, and VMLogic's unique guest automation instructions, which define and control the application other layers within the guest virtual machine. The configuration screen displays the environment templates available for the user. Different users can access different configurations based on the user permission level. Users can provision environments by simply selecting the desired configuration and clicking on Deploy. For example, this is a configuration which represents a web application setup. It includes a web server running on Red Hat Linux, a database backend server on Windows 2003, and a client workstation running Windows XP. Now, let's look at this configuration in more detail. In the first screen, you can define a job lease time, a definition of how long the VMs can actively run on the virtualization infrastructure. Lease times are aimed to help an organization avoid VM sprawl, where VMs are created without any control and causes virtualization management challenges. In the networking section of a configuration, you can select the network the VMs will be connected to, as well as enforce network isolation by enabling IP zone, and define a network policy from a drop-down menu. Network policies allow organizations to control the incoming and outgoing connections from each configuration by creating custom rules, just like firewall. The IP zone feature will allow users to deploy multiple instances of the same configuration on the same network without any risks of MAC IP or hostname conflicts. You can add multiple networks to configuration in cases where VMs will need to be connected to multiple different networks. The final component of a configuration are the machine templates that will be deployed when this configuration will be provisioned. You can assign machine templates from a list of pre-approved VMs. You can change the VM memory size, add more NICs if needed, and define a boot delay. As you can see in this example, the Red Hat Linux VM will be created, and then the VMLogix Lab Manager guest automation will automatically install an Apache web server on this VM. I could change the web server application version to an older or newer version if my test required it. Below you can see the list of VMLogix automation operators, which include, for example, the ability to run any command on the VM, install software, change environment variables, execute any script, and capture and revert to a snapshot. On the Windows Server, you can see that the first automation action will be to change the hostname and then install a database app, MySQL, on the server. On the XP client, we have defined that the VM will connect to a local builds file server and download a build to a folder on the VM called builds. Right after the download is complete, a command will be executed to install the software in unattended mode. As soon as the install completes, the client will run a series of tests via Lab Manager's user script execution operator. As a user, I could deploy this environment immediately using Deploy of Defaults or deploy later using Deploy Advanced Scheduling Options.
Deploying a configuration will create an active environment on the hypervisor. The virtual machines will be created on the hypervisor leveraging the linked clone technology on VMware and equivalent technologies on Hyper-V and Zen server. The cloning process will ensure that the original machine templates will never be corrupted or modified by the users. Once the configuration is deployed, an active environment will be available under the user's workspace area. To access a running VM, simply click on its thumbnail icon. This will bring the user directly to the deployed VM console, while redirecting any user keyboard and mouse input to the VM. Switching between VM consoles is done by clicking on the VM thumbnails above. VMLogic's Lab Manager also allows users to access all the console in a single page. For example, you can execute a test script on one system and immediately see the impact of the script on the other server from a single page. VMLogic's Lab Manager offers full control over the VM, including power on, power off, reset, and suspend buttons. Furthermore, users can connect to the VMs using their preferred remote console protocol, such as VNC or RDP. Users can detach the console window and move it around. This is very useful if the user is using a multi-monitor setup. Another important feature in VMLogic's Lab Manager is the ability to capture and archive complete environments. For example, a QA user discovered a defect in the latest build he was testing in his environment. In most organizations, the user would have had to file a bug and give an engineer access to his environment, forcing him to either wait for the engineer to finish his investigation or start a new environment. This will result in wasted time and effort. This is no longer the case with VMLogic's Lab Manager. Using Lab Manager's Save and Continue option, the tester can create an identical clone of his entire environment. During the process, the VMs will be suspended and their memory state will be captured. The tester can select specific VM to capture and provide description to attach to the entire environment. Once the archiving process is completed, a new saved instance will be available from the Saved tab. Now the tester can share the saved environment with other teams in Lab Manager, as well as send a specific notification to a user within that team. The user will receive the notification directly to his email client and by simply clicking on the saved job URL, he will be able to deploy the private instance of the saved environment. Alternatively, this URL can be copied and sent via email, instant manager, or posted in the bug tracking ticket of the company. Users can deploy environments as long as they are not exceeding predefined user quota. Lab Manager users can see their resources usage and quota limit from within My Profile page. Administrators can define VM and RAM quota, and users cannot exceed these defined values. Under the notification screen, Users will receive all the user and system generated notification, such as job completion or lease expiration warnings. Using VMLogic's Lab Manager advanced automation capabilities, advanced user management, and seamless integration with third party test and development tools via VMLogic's API, companies of all sizes can dramatically reduce the manual effort, time, and IT resources required to develop and maintain higher quality solutions. We would like to thank you for watching this video and we invite you to visit our website vmlogics.com for more details and information on how to get a copy of VMLogics Lab Manager for your evaluation purposes. Thank you very much for watching this video.